Alrighty, Dar. Welcome to my pirate room. Yeah, I've built a lot of model coffee stirrer uh, pirate galleons. I've been doing this since the 1990s. Um, here's another ship that I've been building. It's also about the same size with a little better. Uh, but of course, there was one drawback to building ships of this size. It's pretty big considering the sword and the gun. Uh, they're very heavy, so I didn't even bother to launch these. <sighs> Making the video here is a lot harder than making a ship. Um, so excuse me if I mess up. Um, there's a huge deployment of sails, at, and it makes the ship look large. But the ship isn't very large. The uh, ship itself is about maybe a foot and a half long. It's ultralight planked with coffee stirrer planking. The planking itself is very thin. That makes it light. It's glass with resin from the inside and even waxy clays poured inside as a ballast and makes it heavy enough to sail. There are servos that are tucked in there. They're in plain sight so I can reach them. The deck itself is uh, planked with coffee stirs, aged, scarred, damaged. So there's a nice bit of here or there. There's a little bit of trade-off in detailing. And of course I use whatever available stuff I can get a hold of to build the ship. But once again, from a distance it's a remote control ship and it's meant to be seen from a distance even though you can get closer and closer and closer and it will continue to wow you. If you want to do a detailed model, most of the time people, you'll be joining the ranks of people who build static models that look good they never go anywhere but look even better when you go to the lake and launch it. Well, good luck for any sailors who dared to build this dream.